Trudy Beerman here, and today I wanted to talk to you about gold and silver. Now, I'm not talking about paper assets. Chances are, if you have a 401k uh, or some kind of financial broker making decisions for you, if you check your portfolio, there's a strong chance that you already own gold and silver in the form of paper assets. Personally, I like to touch the stuff. I like the tangible gold and silver, okay? I really like to touch it. I like to have it in my hands. The other thing is, it used to be a high barrier of entry for average folks like you and me to even consider purchasing and holding it, much less being in the business of gold and silver. But that has all changed. That has all changed. And, and I'm very happy that it has all changed. Um, now, when I, let's say for example, let's say, you know, silver is going at about $31 an ounce. If I take my $31 and I purchase an ounce of silver, I, I really don't feel like I've lost my money because I'm kind of still looking at it. But if I spent that $31 at McDonald's, <laughs> that's in the toilet the next day, okay? So a lot of times we find that people who get into this business really kind of hang around because what they're exchanging you go. So this is, this is the good stuff. Now, <clears throat> I'm in actually two different business opportunities for gold and silver, and that's because each brings a completely different set of benefits and opportunities to the table. So if you are, you know, I'd love for you to just shop my store if that's all you're interested in, and there's definitely links here that you can just shop my store. But if you're curious about looking into the business of gold and silver to see if it's a fit for you, then you may want to consider one or the other, both, or maybe not. Up to you. But allow me, if you would, to be your guide as you work through this concept of being in the business of gold and silver. So, like I said, I really like the tangible stuff, okay? Now, each opportunity is going to come with something different, but for the most part, we're still talking about gold and silver. Now, if you're talking about the numismatics, that tends to be looked at as a collectible in the same way that people collect stamps, you know, general coin collecting, collect, you know, comics, whatever. So, this is often looked at as a collectible, but guys, this is still intrinsically silver. This is a one ounce American silver eagle. There's one ounce of pure silver in this coin. This is also a one ounce American eagle silver coin. The difference is, I'm touching this one as you can see. This one's probably scuffed. This one does not have any grading on it. This one is graded as a perfect coin, certified to be so, and encapsulated to maintain that condition. Now, here is a one ounce bar of silver. I actually happen to have a couple of them here. Okay, but what I'm trying to point out here is, here is a one ounce bar of silver. So this is one ounce of silver. This is one ounce of silver. This is one ounce of silver. When you look at the, the New York Stock Exchange or whatever, the, you know, the daily value of silver, the spot value of silver, um, on our membership site, this is probably the closest, I mean, like a spit away from the price of the, uh, the spot price. This will be a little tipsy bit more, and that's because this is a currency coin, the national uh, decoration on it, a uh, nationally endorsed currency coin. This is also a national currency coin. It is also one ounce of silver, but this is also perfect grade and certified to be so. So we have different ways of holding gold and silver, okay? So here again is a half ounce gold eagle, and this is a half ounce gold eagle. This is actually just like this, but I have to put it in a plastic case so my hands aren't touching it, but it's not certified graded. This one is. This one is certified graded. Uh, this one actually is an MS69, so it's not even perfect. Perfect is MS70, but this definitely will command, well, I should say, would usually command a higher price than this, even if it's just up by the certification fee. So this is going to be more valuable than this. Okay, so again, owning and holding gold and silver in various forms. Now, you know, um, one of my sites does have some nice coin-based jewelry. Again, it depends on what you're looking for, and I'd be absolutely happy to be your guide. Now, if you tell someone you're in the business of gold and silver, just watch your reaction. It's like, wow, or ooh, you know, it's like it immediately puts an assumption and an implication. 
that you are, you know, you're wealthy, even if that's not your actual reality. But it, it does, it creates a confidence on your end. You just instantly feel more wealthy just to, just to say you're in the business, just to own a couple of these. You get to feel completely different. Um, also, when you tell someone that you're in that business, you will actually. I believe you'll feel absolutely proud to tell someone you're a player in the gold and silver business. It actually is a super, super sexy industry. And um, on top of it, um, there's just something about the shiny stuff that just imparts this sense of wow. You know, it really is a, an awesome thing to be in, guys. And if you're looking for, and I'm a home, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm doing this from home. I've been doing this for almost two years. It has allowed me the freedom to stay at home and remain at home and not be out there, you know, huffing it like some other moms. And I'm home with my kids. I'm actually homeschooling them as well. So this has allowed me the freedom to be able to do that. So guys, I hope that you'll allow me to be your guide as you work through whether or not this is a fit for you and to help you make a decision and also if you just are interested in just shopping my store then by all means go right ahead and do that now links are down here for you and if you just put your name and email in here I'll meet you on the other side of this video and give you some more information thank you